Well, it's time to get serious now because so many people have an opinion on the match tomorrow. So we're going to get some <laughs> expert analysis. So first of all, Joe Brawley, what type of game are you hoping for tomorrow? Well, hello, RT. <laughs> Well, no, Des, I'm looking forward to a truly thrilling and absorbing contest, you know, tomorrow. I genuinely hope it's all out, out and out attack, you know, and I don't want to see any of the sort of stuff we've seen in the semi-final there against Derry, that negative stuff, you know, or the quarter-final, you know, worse again, you know, in Armagh, that type of, you know, hitting off the ball and punching and kicking and dragging fellas down. That stuff belongs in the UFC, Des. The UFC. You know, there's no place in an All-Ireland quarter-final, semi-final or a final. And I hope this game tomorrow is a really attacking, free-flowing game and it does not descend into something that looks like the UFC. By the way, for those of you who don't know what the UFC stands for, it stands for the Ulster Football Championship, so it does. <laughs> who do I think will win? I think it's going to be Galway. I really want Galway... <laughs> to... I really, really want Galway to win, you know. Not you know, so much because it'll make Galway happy, but because it'll make Mayo sad. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor old Mayo. Poor Mayo are going to get an yeah. awful doing tonight. Well, let's get, let's, let's get a, a verdict from County Clare. Ger Lockdown knows all about all Ireland. So, Ger, how do you, how do you think it's going to be won tomorrow? Oh, absolutely. This game is going to come down to Tic Tacs at the end of the day, right? <laughs> now, if I was the Galway manager, my Tic Tacs tomorrow would be very simple. Target David Clifford, right? Very early. Do not let him get, don't let him get into the game. Do you know what I mean? So I'd send one of the lads over. I'd say, line him up, go straight for him, hit him a good belt as soon as he gets off the bus. <laughs> you can't take chances with this fella. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, and I think if Galway can nullify Clifford, right? If they can not give away too many silly frees, right? Get good ball into Comer and Walsh, dominate midfield and don't concede any goals, I think Galway will still lose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, look, we're privileged to have so many brilliant guests with us tonight. Will we go to Kerry for the next prediction oh, tonight? Sure, I think yeah. we're, we're so lucky that we've had absolute legends uh, among us. So, Michal Amir-Hertig, we're thrilled that he is with us tonight. So, Michal, is this one shaping up to be a classic? Well, I think this will be a game for the ages. I tell you now, I think you've got, on one side, you've got Patrick Joyce, the Silver Fox. And he's going up against the postman, Jack O'Connor. We call Jacko the postman because he always delivers. <laughs> this carry team is very special. I thought Sean O'Shea's kick in the last game was one of the greatest kicks I've ever seen. The last time I seen a kick that powerful, that accurate, was about 24 years ago when Father Ted Crilly kicked Bishop <laughs> Brennan up the hole. <laughs> so I, my prediction tomorrow, I think it'll be close, it'll be very tight. But I think Kerry will just do it by about 24 or 25 points. <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, then, from Kerry, Jack, we should go to Galway. Totally so, fair. Tommy, what's the prediction in the Tiernan household? <laughs> Jesus, now, I can't wait for this game tomorrow. Do you know, I, I, oh, Jesus, I love it. You know, I'm two counties from the west of Ireland heading up to Crow Park full of hope, optimism and hang sandwiches. I'm telling you, it's been in Galway 21 years now. 21 years without Sam Maguire, right? You know, eight <laughs> years in Kerry. But in Kerry now, the count in dog years, so they do. <laughs> so they're, they're ch chomping at the bit for tomorrow. But look at who do I think is going to win days now? I would say, well, all I will say now is that I hope Sam Maguire has brought his appetite because Sam Maguire is going to be full of Supermax tomorrow night. <laughs> Tommy, thanks a million for being with us. And but I mentioned, good guests yeah, we have unbelievable guests because you're not going to believe it. We also have the president, Ukderon, <laughs> has joined us as well tonight. We're thrilled to have you here with us. Another. So come here, Ukderon, tell us, have you enjoyed this championship so far? Well, yes, indeed. I thought it was a wonderful championship. It really was. And I have to say, I even wrote a little poem about this year's championship, <laughs> and it's called Champo 2022. <laughs> Galway won Connacht, and Derry won Ulster, Dublin won Leinster, and Kerry walked Munster. Galway were playing Derry in a game to forget until Comer got the ball and he stuck it in the net. Yeah. Kerry v Dublin was one of the best games I ever saw. I was full sure it was going to end in a draw. But Clifford was fouled and O'Shea had a kick. I thought if he hits this free over, the dubs will be sick. <laughs> they said he was too far out, he'll never reach it in this heat. 
Not only did the ball go over, but it landed in O'Connell Street. <laughs> so it's Kerry versus Galway for this year's major honour. Can young Porrick Joyce outsmart the experienced Jack O'Connor? I hope it's a great game for football's sake. Best of luck to both teams. And let's hope Hawkeye doesn't break. Ah, yeah. <laughs> um. oh, that's absolutely brilliant. So thanks really so good. much to Connor Sketches. And just to say, he is touring Ireland in September if you'd love to go. And for the Kerry fans, he's going to be in the INEC in Killarney on the February 19th, maybe even with the Sam Maguire. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, who's going on?